Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Friday, July 5th, 2019. 72 degrees at, uh, is it 8.23 a.m., I guess. Sitting here with my co-star, Michael. Max and Samuel. And I believe Elsie is out on the hunt, and it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. And here we are again, surviving another Independence Day holiday. And I had a good day. Took in a lot of events um, in town here. Pedaled out to Rockport. And had a fire last night here. We didn't make the fireworks. I was out of gas by that point, and I wanted to be with these loves. They were terrified. That was the only bad part of the day. Maxie and Els were just terrified from the the sounds of the fireworks going off. Mike's, Mikey was so-so with it. Sammy just didn't care, and he was outside almost all day yesterday, all day and most of the night. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sammy, look at that. Oh, I love you, buddy. So Maxie's being very, very, I don't know what the word is. He's sitting with me here, and I love it. He does that anyway, but So we are going to pause, enjoy this beautiful morning and this time with our loves. Lots of birds singing this morning. It's just a calm, quiet morning. So we are back, still sitting here with three of my co-stars, Mikey and Max. There's that Mackie. And Sammy. There's that Samuel. Yeah, we took in quite a few events. After coffee and wake-up time yesterday, we made some hummus, and we took a ride on our Detroit bike and went down and saw the parade. Um, later in the day, we went down the Avenue of Flags on a ride, both uh, on 23 North by the hospital and the Duck Park, and the Duck Park on Washington Street. Went and saw the Sandcastle Contest, went and watched the cardboard boat races, and pedaled out to Rockport and went swimming, and later in the day went down and went to Bayview, but I just couldn't wait for the fireworks to begin, so I didn't watch them. I could hear them plenty good from here. There goes Mikey. Maxie went back over there to lay in the sun. Sammy's still here. Oh, I see me. I'm not in a real big hurry to do anything today. Um, we're going to have our first cup of coffee. And reminisce a little bit. It was on this day. Nineteen seventy five, my grandfather Edward Carpus uh, suffered a heart attack. And he died on July 7th. And I missed my grandfather. He was a big influence in my life. He was kind of my fa father figure. And my dad sailed on the, the lake freighter, so he wasn't home a lot. So Grandpa was my father figure. And we fished a lot and went out to the hunting camp and things like that. And with his passing... Um, <laughs> I was at that age, you know, I was 14 years old, turning 15 that year, and experimenting with drugs and alcohol, and after Grandpa's death, it turned into full-scale research. They were back, and I don't know where all my loves went, but uh, a little more reminiscing about my grandfather, Edward Carpus. He, uh, he was always taking pictures, and he had Life Magazine every issue from the first one published back in the 1930s up until it folded as a weekly, I believe in 1972, and I used to love to go over and pour through those magazines and look at those photos, and that instilled in me, I think, my love and where my, my love of photography came from. I don't shoot as many pictures as I, I do have had in the past. Part of it's because an issue with my camera and over the years, I 
took thousands and thousands of pictures of my loves, you know, and they're always playing as screensavers on my computer, my little Audi. She was, they're all so photogenic, and you, you really realize how unique these creatures are, these beings, these sweet souls, when you get some portrait-like photos of them and just see the personality shine through in them. Oh, boy. Here comes Sammy. Here comes that Sammy. Look at that little guy. What you doing, Tammy? He's the one I seem to take the most pictures of now, him and Mikey. Elsie's always been really aloof about it. Maxie kind of just don't care. And, but Seiji was a good subject. They all were. Look at, look at that. He loves me so much, and I love him so much. So, a little more reminiscing. Don't mean, don't mean to seem morbid, but, you know, my life is just filled with moments like that. There's uh, magic and loss, you know, and I know everyone's life is like that, and I try not to just focus on the negative. I try to give a balanced perspective. But, yeah, it's like there's always just been a cloud over me. <laughs> I remind myself... And it reminds me, I should say, of, uh, was it the Adams or the Munster family on the old 60s TV show? There was always a cloud over the house. That's my life. I didn't see neighbor Steve at all yesterday. It's kind of disconcerting. No sign of him over there today either. When I had texted him the other day about whether or not he was going to take in any of the uh, 4th of July and Independence Day events, he... He said he was in protests for the inmates of Alpena County. And so I asked him how his protest was going in a text, and I never heard back from him. I did see Camping Rust down at the cardboard boat race. And I might be showing up on a video of his. Who knows? He took a still of us. and So there it is. That's where we're at for right now, and we will be back. We're back, and we got a little visitor we want to show you on the Mike's show. I don't have a cup and saucer small enough to give him a cup of coffee, but look at that little guy right there. No idea what that is. No idea. I don't even know if you can see him. Hard for me to tell if I'm getting that in there. Some type of insect. There's a bunch of them around here. Yeah, most anything's welcome around here except ticks and... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and here we are again, and I want to talk about one of the little rain clouds I mentioned earlier. You know, I pedaled out to Rockport on my bike, and there was about a half mile stretch of roadway where, right before Rockport Road, someone broke five or six bottles on the shoulder of the road. I mean, that's... It wasn't an accident. They were deliberately broken. They were all the same brand of bottle. It's like... So anyway, and I was fortunate. I cursed whoever that was and hoped they got a 9 mil right between the fucking eyes. <laughs> Doing something like that was just to fuck up somebody's day, you know? And it just... I don't know. You know, you're out biking and then you might run through a patch of grass, glass and not get a flat right away, but then turn around and... I do carry a tube and a repair kit and a CO2 inflator for emergencies, but it just, why are people like that, man? I don't know. I just don't know. Well, we finished our readings. We're just about done with our coffee, said our morning prayers, and uh, <laughs> not going to be moving from this spot real fast, I can tell you that. Oh, look at there's my key. Tammy went back inside, and I don't know where Max and Elsie are. Off on the hunt, I'm sure. God is singing to us in the chimes. The lawn still needs mowing. Will that get done today? Who knows? I've got some painting I'd like to do on the other side of the house, too, but I don't have a ladder that can reach it, so I don't think that's going to happen. And, uh... Yeah, we're in, we're in no big hurry to roll away from this spot we're at right now. But we will try to enjoy this day, even if it's sitting here doing nothing. Because nothing is something. 
something is nothing and nothing and something can be anything. Think that one through and you know it's true. So that's all we have for today. Peace and blessings. Have a great day and enjoy the time with the ones you're with. Hey Mikey.